What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. It's Thursday, it's Thursday morning, and just before work, we are going to do a quick run-through of this national team selection, the Worldwide September players. So, again, I talked about the player of the week in the last video. Um, it's probably one of the most disappointing selections that they've released. But this one, there's a couple of hidden gems in here. Not even hidden gems, right? Hidden gems is a bad word to use because there's a couple of players in here that you might not potentially use or buy in the GP market because you're kind of looking at him and thinking, ah, he's not good enough, he's not fast enough, he's not strong enough, whatever, but that you could get him in here, and they are pretty decent cards. Now, it's a pity that they're only on C form, they should be on A form. You've also got Pelestri in here, if you're a United fan, uh, a United fan, you saw the other day against Bayern uh, Munich last night. Lads, I don't even want to talk about it, right? I don't even want to talk about it. But anyway, we have got a couple of their pl those players here, right? So what I usually do is I usually pick the, the you know, the three or four that I would not be interested in, um, that are not good enough. This guy, yes, you can train him up. He goes 30 levels. Um, he has got standard form. He's not a bad player because of his player skills. He doesn't have double touch, but he has one touch pass. He's got pinpoint cross and true passing. He can play left wing or attack in mid. Uh, I would say that he's slightly kind of mid because of his uh, dribbling um, and tight possession is the one that kind of catches him and his passing is a bit low. But it's a fantastic, uh, you know, attack and midfielder if you don't have a better attack and midfielder than that. Any of these players would be an upgrade if you literally have downloaded the game in the last couple of days, right? If you've been playing the game for a week or longer, you're going to have a way better squad than this. Or you should have by now. Palestri, again, fairly decent. Um, balance, speed, acceleration. He goes to 34 levels. Uh, we are going to get him close enough to 90, but his lack of player skills is really what kills him. I mean, he won't stand out too much. You know, Garnacho would even be a better option, even though Garnacho is on, on the left flank. Um, so that's a bit of a, a disappointment one, a disappointing one as well. You've got your centre back. That's an extra front man. This guy is the Italian Toloi. Um, pretty decent card. You know what you're getting here. He's actually on D rating for some reason, which is a bit of a bust, even though he's on wavering form. He does have blocker interception, aerial superiority, acrobatic clearance, slide and tackle, interception, and man mark again. But he doesn't have fighting spirit or heading, right? So he's not a bad player for, for an extra front man, but there's way better center backs there. Similarly with Sosa, um, this guy is just your average left back, cross specialist, unwavering form. He's on B rating. He's not a bad player to have if you get him this week. Long throw, sliding tackle, way to pass, true passing, and of course, pinpoint crossing with dipping shot and long range shooting. Early crosser is his playing style. Not bad at all. I would be very interested in trying out this guy's lofted pass. But again, for me, I have players that have specialized roles in every position now. So this guy is just going to be probably a bench warmer for me, unfortunately. Um, we also have this guy, Bam Gartner. This Bam Gartner. Is it Bam Gartner or Bam Bam Gartner? Yeah, Bam Gartner. He's also Austrian. And he does have standard form. And again, this guy is down as a, an attacking midfielder that we saw. I just did him. What am I talking about? Anyway, I'm still asleep, lads. Uh, Nathan Ake, we've got him as an extra front man. I always liked Ake. I used to call him AK-47 back in the day in Pez. Not a bad player, but he's missing a couple of defensive um, skills such as blocker and interception. Well, he has interception, but he doesn't have blocker or heading or aerial uh superiority so that's a bit of an issue because of his height plus he only goes 19 levels what's that what's that about i don't know why he's so low there not a bad player if you do spin for him dallo another united man the less said the better at the moment lads i'm so down on manchester united missing a lot of player skills fairly average card fairly decent card he's fine i mean he plays better for portugal than he does for united anyway um he's okay and then we also have cunha this guy is not a bad player either uh, he's kind of like a deep line, line forward, so think of him like Harry Kane, comes for the ball a bit closer um, to midfield, he's got double touch, he's got dip and shot, first time shot, true passing and chip shot control with long range curler, not a bad card at all, I mean his balance is going to slightly let him down, his finishing is only 76, he's kind of more of a playmaking centre forward, which I just think are lost in the Football 24 at the moment, and then we also have Brandt, so this guy used to be a wonder kid back in Pez, back in the day, his acceleration tells you all you need to know about him, he plays like a slow based attacking midfielder, um, he is down as a creative playmaker as well, so while he has excellent feet, he's more of a kind of like a clunkier, kind of slower, less mobile attacking midfielder, the game just kind of leaves him behind I think because of his lack of acceleration and balance, and then we also have Marino, so this guy is a box to box, he's in a similar position with the acceleration and the balance, no, you don't need acceleration on every card. I mean, I will see people in the comments saying like, oh, you know, he doesn't all, every player doesn't always have to be fast. 
It's not about being fast, it's about being mobile. And you'll know what I mean when you control a really good mobile fast player compared to somebody that's clunky. Like Makalele versus this guy would be just no contest. Um, and obviously he's a legend, but even somebody like Barrios or somebody that's more mobile in a box-to-box, Borella, Goretzka, any of those guys will be a beast box-to-box for you. So I, again, think this guy is a bit of a bust. So that brings us on to the top pick, which is Dembele, right? Right midfield, right winger. He's on D rating, which is a bit... I don't know why he's on D rating. Um, he's been playing well for France, I would say. He can play across the left mid, right mid, left wing, right wing. Very, very good card. I actually love Dembele. He's probably one of my favorite wingers to use. I haven't really used him in Football 24 yet, but look at those stats. I always talk about when you are a, a winger or you're looking to be uh, getting a good winger for your squad, the holy trinity of stats, the tripod of stats, dribbling, acceleration, and balance. He can go 28 levels. So if you pop 10 levels into any of these car any of this card, you're going to have 93 dribbling and you're also going to have 94 acceleration with 87 balance, right? That would pretty much top out your card. Um but you'll still have a couple of bits and pieces whether you want to focus on pass and finishing or you want to bring up that balance to 90. So if you can have a winger that has 90 in dribbling, balance and acceleration and speed as a bonus and then maybe passing or finishing above 75 Beautiful for a winger to be able to either cut inside if you shoot uh, with the finishing higher or else if you cross the ball in. Now, he does have true passing and pinpoint crossing with early crosser. So he actually is a brilliant crosser as well with the player skills. But he also has double touch, soul control and heel trick as well as dip and shot, cut behind and turn and chop turn and um, the Rabona. So he's a very interesting card and a very fun card to use. But that is it for me, lads. We already did the player of the week. If you missed that, we will be back with uh, another one if you want to check that out in the meantime. And then the Spanish one league selection is up next. So I will talk to you in a bit. Peace.